I'm spending the weekend exploring Death Valley and I can't wait to take you with me. Let's go. On the way to Badwater Basin and Furnace Creek, the old Ashford Mill ruins are visible from the road. The Sidewinder can be a physically and mentally taxing hike at over five miles, and we're going to check it out right now. While the hike is intimidating, it's just a short half mile walk from the parking to the trailhead. Part of the challenge and fun of this particular hike is the scrambles with ledges six to eight feet tall and narrow spaces. As narrow as a foot and a half, you have to make your way through. What a hike. This guy's impressive. One thing that makes Death Valley exceptional during the winter is the opportunity to see some of the snow-capped mountains in the distance. Badwater Basin is one of those quintessential spots when you think of Death Valley, you have to visit here. While Badwater Basin is the lowest part of the park, you can actually look up at one of the highest peaks and see Dante's view in the distance. I was lucky enough to make it here after a recent rain and I was treated to the water moving in. military jets, but this past summer there was an accident, and even though they're not flying right now, it's still worth a stop. The narrow chasm of volcanic cinders and dark lava flows opens up to the beautiful Rainbow Canyon. Death Valley is the largest U.S. National Park in the lower 48 states with over 3.4 million acres to explore. Nothing makes a better introduction to Death Valley than these sand dunes at the north end of the park. find trails here so you can enjoy heading for the high peaks and exploring. You can get lost exploring the dunes here, so make sure to bring sun protection and plenty of water. Devil's Cornfield was named for the arrowweed, which supposedly resembled corn stalks, but being an Iowa girl, I'm not sure I see the resemblance. makes for a quick stop right off the side of the road, but you can go exploring if you'd like. Harmony Borox Works was actually the original and primary feature of the opening of Death Valley and the popularity of Furnace Creek in the late 1800s.
Death Valley was established as a U.S. national monument back in 1933, but it wasn't until after six decades later, in 1994, that it was established as a national park. There are so many awe-inspiring spots in Death Valley, and Golden Canyon is just one of them. Zabriskie Point is another can't-miss spot here in Death Valley. This is a great place to explore, and Zabriskie Point is actually where you 2 shot the cover for their Joshua Tree album. There are nearly a thousand miles of paved and unpaved roads to explore here in Death Valley, but they're not all always open. In fact, we were super excited to enjoy Dante's view at sunset, but because of the snow coming in, we're gonna have to make other plans today. You can view artists' palette from your car, but my favorite way is to get out, hike, and adventure. Because it's such a popular spot, the parking lot at Artist's Palette can fill up rather quickly, but even if you have to park on the side of the road and hike, the views are spectacular. Before you realize it, you're a part of Artist's Palette. This is just a five minute walk from our car. Thanks for joining me in exploring Death Valley. For more information, check out my blog at flyingdawnmarie.com. And until next time, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye. if I get us lost and kill us, do you? Not at all. Perfect. Yay, kids! <laughs> that's not gonna work. It's fine. Did that sound corny? <laughs> oh. Okay. So high. Come on, wind. Then I'll look tough and strong, like bull. I think we're supposed to be over there. <laughs>